Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I am the Fire Escape Griller, and this marks the second video in my KitchenAid slow cooker review series. In the first video, we made pulled pork and had some good results, but a little bit mixed. Uh, the pulled pork was a little bit hard to pull, but it tasted great. So in this second video, we're gonna make some short ribs. I'm really excited about this because this is a nice, hearty, warm meal and it is absolutely freezing cold outside. It is below zero here in New York City. So this is gonna be the perfect meal for today. Short ribs, slow cooker, stick around. You're gonna like this one. Okay, so now that we've browned the meat, we're gonna take some garlic and put it into the pan where we brown the meat. Just scrape up any of those bits of seasoning and meat flavor from the pan. And we're gonna add a nice big dollop, maybe a tablespoon or so of tomato paste and stir this around with the garlic. I'm using about a low to medium heat. We're gonna do this for a couple of minutes, not too long. Add some fresh thyme or some other fresh herbs. You could use rosemary, I'm using thyme. And now we're gonna add some wine to the pan and I've got a can of Pinot Noir here. It's 375 milliliters, which is half a bottle. It's not great wine, but it's not terrible wine either. So we'll start out with half of this can. Add that to the pan and stir it around, scraping up any bits off the bottom of the pan. I'll let this reduce for a little bit and then we'll add in the rest of the can. And we'll just cook these for a few minutes, not too long. Let those flavors come together and then we'll pour this right over our short ribs into the cooker and to that we're going to add two cups of either beef or chicken broth. And then put your lid back on and turn on your slow cooker. Okay, so these short ribs have now been on for eight hours, two hours on high, followed by six hours on low. And let's take a look. They are looking like they're falling off the bone. They smell terrific. You can see how some of them have already fallen off the bone. And we'll take our liquid and we'll strain it into a small pot. And then what you want to do is take that garlic and just mash it through the strainer. And we'll add that to our liquid. It's going to be delicious. And you can just scrape that garlic off the bottom of the strainer. 
right into our sauce. And then we're gonna simmer this and let the liquid reduce so that all those flavors concentrate together. And then you wanna skim off as much fat as possible. Even some that's coagulated on here. And now to plate the dish, I start with some mashed potatoes. There's a link in the upper right corner to my bangers and mash video if you wanna see how I make mashed potatoes. And we put our ribs on top and then pour over some of that delicious concentrated red wine and garlic sauce. Short ribs made in a KitchenAid slow cooker right here in Manhattan, New York. So that's video number two of the review of the KitchenAid slow cooker. The short ribs were absolutely fantastic. They almost had like a little bit of a corned beef flavor to them and the texture, the way they pulled was a little bit like corned beef. Really delicious, very hearty, perfect for winter. I like the technique of using two hours on high followed by six hours on low. I think that really worked well with this recipe. KitchenAid slow cooker, video number two. It's pretty cool, I like this thing a lot. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and of course, keep on cooking.